Okay guys, so what I have for you right now is a uh, little two stick deadfall and this is a pretty cool little trap but there's a few things that you have to get right on it and it does take you got to kind of get it set it up right so the first thing is is you've got your two sticks coming in you want to make sure that this little end here is barbed so it holds the food on really good because these are not the most sensitive trap um, out there and then the second thing is put you a little notch up there right here so that you can so that those two go together and then uh, you want to make sure that your upright piece is towards the end of the rock so that if this pull if this bait stick pulls out that you won't uh, it won't just end up falling on top of that stick so let me show you how it triggers here so that is it I'll show you one more time and uh, see if I can show you kind of how to set it up as well we're down along as far as placement goes we're down along this creek here and uh, I got it set up one more time there, and the horse flies have stopped bugging me. Here's the key thing to this. I've been playing with this for a little while, and you can see how many trials and errors I ended up with on the bloopers reel after I'm done here. Um, the key thing is you got to get this, this point up here right on the edge of the rock, okay? And that way, if whenever this thing trips, you got to make sure that it won't fall down top of itself, and you'll see what I'm talking about in those bloopers. And the other thing is, is it can't be too heavy. Um, this this rock is probably, I don't know, 25 pounds or so. And that's probably about as big as you can go with this type of trap. But this is going to be good for, you know, a real small game and stuff. So, stuff you might find just crawling up and down a creek or whatever. As far as bait goes, obviously you could use, you know, little fish guts or maybe a little frog or, you know, something along those lines. Um... Who knows, you know, maybe if you had some little food with you or whatever. So let me go ahead and uh, trip this one more time. So basically you could use some funneling along the sides here if you needed to so that the so that the animal came right in this way. And then they kind of had to pull the bait back to you. And that one actually stuck a little bit as I pulled it. Let me try that one more time. Again, what I was saying is, is the important part here, get the bait stick back to the back. So the animal has to go in there and then you also want to make sure that your upright is just to the very tip of this rock and if you can see how this curves out right here let's see if i can show you a little better basically if if this bait stick was to be removed suddenly like kind of like you saw in the in the bloopers i'll put a section in there then when it when this rock comes down on it it's still going to push this rock this stick out and fall flat so that's what you got to make sure you do with this now if you can if you if your rock is such that it's got some cuts in it or some uh, little notches in it or uh, even a log if you're going to use it then if you can have this part of the stick angled back down in here that's even better I couldn't get it to work with this rock so this is what we've got but basically they come in here they trip that and you're good to go so that is the two stick deadfall and um, let me let me just tell you, I don't know if you can tell by the look on my face or not, but and you'll see some of the bloopers, it's taken me a while to get that right. So, you know, trapping is one of those things that you really do um, need to practice before you actually get out there because knowing just how to how to get them set up, what to look for as far as the weights and how to set up your notches and all that kind of stuff. It's just not easy. I mean, I'm pretty well soaked in sweat right now, <laughs> sitting here screwing with these things. So, um, you know, my recommendation is 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 that you actually go out and you actually practice a few of these things, putting them together, and see how the trigger works. Because, like I said, the reality is, you get out there in a survival situation, you're dehydrated, and uh, you know, trying to do this in a, a quick hasty type situation and it's not going to work for you you know you really got to know what you're doing you got to know what techniques um, are going to work so uh, like I say practice makes perfect or at least practice makes you a little better <laughs> so anyhow um, give it a try you know go out and uh, give these a try and 
I'd be interested to know what kind of uh, deadfalls you guys have used in trapping or tried to make. Um, there's d several other types out there, figure fours and others. Um, but let me know what you found successful and what you've tried. So, anyhow, um, appreciate you guys watching. Had a great time out here today, and I will be back out here shortly with some more videos for you. Thanks. Exactly right, so that there's not too much weight on it, but it 